So welcome back to Road to 56 miles an hour. We're basically stalled waiting for something to happen because the four motorized infantry divisions I have are just not enough to push across this Strait of Messina. Oh, that's unexpected. Yeah, where is it? Say it is anything. Oh, no, no idea. And yeah, sometimes weird th things like that show up. So at the moment, I'm basically waiting for a chance to actually use my race infantry and trying to, bu trying to build up the navy again because I'm losing a lot of convoys to these these goddamn U boats. And so I'm just going to pause the recording until something interesting happens. Oh, and we've suddenly just lost a spy. Very quietly, without any warning. Most annoying, it was one of my German agents. Ah. Nope, producer it is. Oh, it looks like we might actually be able to push into Messina. Or at least there's a very... Thanks, sir. Anyway, I'm not sure much. Except maybe wait for them to please. Oh, and it's already going badly. Yeah, they're they're dug they're dug in on a on a mountainous terrain. This is pretty much the sort of terrain the Italians excel in fighting at nowadays. Oh, we can get we can upgrade our Mayo for Ford's Cork. Let's see, what can I, let's see what I go with today. Max reliability, resource need, that would be handy. Reliability would be good because I'm already losing 7% because I selected this so I could get them quicker. But we just need a lot of them. Now to upgrade this. Oh yeah, they're more expensive now. Hope we get some extra breakthrough, which is gonna be handy. Yeah, that's not going too well. And we just don't have the supplies to do much more. Let's pull back and get supplies back. We also need to get a lot of the lot of reinforcements for manpower. Fuel. So at the moment we are now producing more destroyers they longer than I would upgrade my air support. This gave us hmm. Slightly extra needle. Not to really be worth it. The almost no breakthrough because they don't really provide much. A little bit of um soft attack. Changed by what point one. And not enough to really be worth shit things over. Oh yeah, it's always the bloody railway bottlenecks. Oh, this is bad. One destroyer against all of these Vichy French ships. This is why I don't use destroyers very much in this game.
Have we just lost all of them? There's a reason why I don't use Pretty much lost all of our all of our fleet just against this is why i don't usually use anything other than submarines they're cheap easy to build easy to replace and they can go and they can be and they're hard to spot well germany has just declared war on the fish I guess that might help a bit if they pick if they pick a fight with each other. Well, since there's very little I can actually do with these guys here, I may as well try bringing them home. Probably going to go in badly because submarines. Well, guys. Send them around the long way. Maybe I'll send them to probably not gonna end either. Well, Monaco has have signed a white peace with French state. Probably just means they're not gonna bother each other. Maybe someday I'll try playing as Monaco, see how badly that goes. For reasons unknown, they sent him by a ship, so now I've pretty much lost most of these, like... Why the hell does it always sit, send by ship, rather than sending it here, and then along the road? Well, at this point, I may as well just disband these units entirely and build them from scratch. Oh, now Monaco's at war with us. We lost six convoys because the AI always goes by a ship rather than actually by. So that's veteran units I'm wiping out because I can't get them. So I think I'm starting to realize that playing as Ireland with them. Um, Motorized only just isn't it that possible. Or we can't make provide enough firepower to make enough of a difference. This time I can probably build a thing 60. These old, old planes can just be deleted. So I guess I'm going back to my old, old support play cell of just waiting for things to happen. Oh, there's another naval invasion target. Oh, blip. Well, wouldn't you know, I actually have forts there now. The only thing we really have to deal with submarines right now is it's only around here. Oh, and now they've got... Now that I've actually disbanded my motorized infantry. There are landings happening in initially. Damn it, Ace. 
Good. We finally got one submarine. Good. Finally a step in the right direction. I'm actually able to do much about it. Yep, lost a couple of ships to the French Navy. Enemy French Navy. Wonder if they're the ones who are gonna try landing in Ireland. Both of this very irritating uh, issue with the Plan being held by the Germans. Maybe I'll try taking it. Just to. Well, Vichy France has fallen. Oh, looks like we got free France on the mix here. How long is that going to last? So Italy's slowly falling. Not getting involved. Yeah. Ooh, looks like the German police is trying to get back up to Kiel or Hamburg or somewhere, and they're being striked with a lot of it, a lot of Allied planes. Well, the well submarines try to get out of the way, or more likely the submarines convoy raiding. Germans send their fleet to respond. They pull back after seeing all these planes coming for Probably not going to sink any, but I don't know. You know, the irony of having so few convoys is usually I have hundreds and I can sell or lend lease them all off. How, how the turns table. Oh, and there's now an Italian civil war. Which? This is turning from, let's see how, mu how much of a difference we can do to revising commentary on the on blow by blow commentary. Strong attack from the US into in, around Napoli and Tranto. Oh, Italians are pushing back, but losing. Up north around San Marino and Florence. Since in Geneva, seems to be, be stalled, but there. Yeah, I'm not a commentator, am I? Yeah, big surprise there. Norway overthrew the German occupation. Germans came in and cracked down on them. Which probably did help with a little bit of this down here. Well, there's a surprise. UK declared war on Iraq. Hmm. Interesting tree here. Which I can redo about now. Well, now the Italian Social Republic's capital has moved to Pescagnon. It's kind of funny. So basically, once this what once the Bay of Biscay is clear, I'm gonna actually send these Calvary, new Calvary Corps back in. We are low on manpower. Well, once once we actually get that, once we can actually get onto the continent, I think we can start put, uh, pushing back. Earlier on, we did quite well push it, pushing through to here, then stall because of supplies. Supplies won't be such a big problem here in France, into Germany. First, I have to get them up to a level. Excellent. Finally got... One spy. Probably went into the pub and ordered the wrong drink. I have no idea. 
So I've decided that my special forces use are going to be shock troops. These are either by the mod rather than in the base game. They might actually be more useful to us when we get onto the continents. I should have started researching them sooner, but hindsight and all that. Also, I might have to bump up the manpower or possibly expand some of these. About six thousand, you know, twelve thousand. Probably change the high command into this. Trees gives us. Is this really? Anything? Probably not. Oh, looks like Bordeaux has been liberated. So. I think it's time we got to work. Now we need a lot more convoys. all this steel keep going to it's all being exported this is the scary part heading across the goddamn bay of biscay well we shot down one enemy fighter Oh, looks like we might have actually managed this. That is honestly a relief, given how fast the previous shipping through Gibraltar Strait went. Why did it even do that? I don't know how this game works sometimes. Supply man damage to one convoy, but we shut down play. Nope. Mostly short, all the short. Now, where are we most likely to be useful? Because there's a very large river here. I'll be pushing up towards La Rochelle, Nantes. I don't speak French, so corrections are welcome on that side of things. And I'm going to make sure we have a narrowish front so we can stack up on as much places as possible. Finally, things are starting to kick off again. See, this is how this usually ends up when I play as Ireland. I end up having to wait until somebody has done the major landings on on Europe before I can actually start contributing. I have some early contributions in North Africa and helping clean up um, this part of Syria now. Crack to isn't looking too good. Stars helping because they want some of that for themselves. But now just arrived and are helping to fend off a German attack from the 946th Infantry Division. Sounds more French than German. Speech. But anyway, things are now kicking off again. We can actually start contributing. And push! The reason I'm going into this armor core now, even though I'm probably not going to get them, is just fill up some of these. Because what this will do is reduce our supply consumption. I've done that ages ago, just bothered. 
port strike results. Huh. Wait, when do we have port strike? Did I... huh. Unexpected. Oh, I actually set these ones to port strike. Bit logistics strike. Erp. That was dumb, but funny. Right. Anything else I can read? May as well just get this into warp. Stuff out of the way. Well, looks like out of all of these, less armor for more speed, less armor and less defense for less. Like less cost versus five percent cost, no downside. Why would I not take this? Okay, we're holding Nant, just about. Just about. They're not getting past us. How can you say? Ooh, we got a large river crossing. Go preparing the superior enemy. Start pushing now. I wonder how much of that we're gonna. Okay, so we can push into Anger. Probably loop back around to Ren. The only reason I'm pushing up towards Brest is we get more. The more ports we have here, the more supplies we can get through. Maybe I should. Push this up to another capacity. Oh, Caucasus American War. Hmm. Good news is we have air superiority here. Yep, service by requirement. We need the manpower. Trying to get low. And the casualties we're taking are and messing around with our war support. Not, not enough to really be too worried about now, but we will get there. Rather it didn't. Oh, and now I can finally upgrade the magazine for workshop. Is anyway. I almost always have infantry equipment up at the very top, so it is prioritized for resources, and it just requires steel. So I think this might be the work best to go with. Resource need, temp. Okay, it's second only to trucks. I upgraded with this. 
It's reliability, extra soft attack. Leave that for now. We are, we are losing a lot, of, a lot of people pushing up here, but we're getting there. Of course, they probably said that a bit during the First World War too, which how uh, that worked. Never remember how this works, so I'm just good. Regroup up around Lorient and push. Go in position. Still waiting for something. Why are we importing so much of the stuff we need? Probably because I'm it's a million i.e. a purpose of the U. See? Yeah. So extra trade to overlords and it costs less. They need a lot more. So, one of the reasons why I usually go, usually go down the Fina Foil administration path, and then negotiate Northern Ireland for assistance is we're doing it on our terms. We also get some extra factories, dockyards, aluminium fabrication out of it. The only reason I wanted it this with Fine Gael this time is so I could get into the war quicker. Yeah. Uh yeah. We're technically outnumbered, but I think we have more, more supply. They don't. They don't have the organization. Which means we're actually starting to roll them back. Oh, don't focus on that. Focus on the one on the one for now, guys. Yeah, we're basically we're rolling over them. Basically, playing motorized MG only requires a bit more setup, and you need to have the supplies, logistics sorted out. Once you do that, though, you can actually just keep pushing. I mean, I guess there's a reason why why motorized became more of a thing during World War Two. So let's tighten up that line a little bit. Okay. So our Mayo for tanks. Like I'm not gonna bother really bother with them, so I'm just gonna get this out of the way. Simplified layout and Again, not going to bother with that. Motorized rocket launcher might be. We're all steering to drain. I might as well just go with this. Yeah, starting to stall out around Cherbourg and so shift our axis a little bit over this way. Well, I now have. Shock troops available, so make the shock troops, make them cheaper. So am I gonna be dealing with urban combat or basically either ten percent attack for fourths or ten percent attack for urban? Probably urban, I think. Forge stock art, stock armies, so. Port artillery, 
ser and sport anti-air seriously edges all seriously buff them i'd be using most of those anyway the probing attacks or sustained battle uh, five extra arrows without supplies logistics company probably use those anyway because it'll buff their piercing because i think they can't be or motorized uh, I'm not using Armored Recon or Signal Companies. Well, this isn't going to do me much. Stay in battle, it is. Integrated Engineers, no question. So, Breakthrough Army. Again, Armored Recon, I'm not really using. Extra Soft Attack. Alright. Time to decide the... Motorized shock troops. Support artillery. Motorized recon or. Let's provide some armor, more piercing, breakthrough defense, logistics. Again, that, that buffs their HP and their piercing. Engineer. I might go with Field Hospital because it'll buff the and then recover them quicker. We don't have a lot of manpower. These guys are gonna be chunky. I want to go with Armored Division. Recognized. Probably. Grade these to regular. And what the hell? Gonna call them for Morian infantry. And one of these is gonna become. Let's see. I don't think we turned the third into a warrior infantry. We gained some artillery and towed anti air. I'm not using anti air with these guys, but I'll use the second one as well. Now, they are going to be very short of supplies for a bit, but. They can handle it. That might actually, I might have jumped the gun on that. Well, we're pushing into Cherbourg. This is going to be a tough nut to crack because it's all urban environment, but. That's what these guys specialize in. Nice. Back here, get some, get our. Yeah, well, I think that's probably a good point to call it a day for now. So, yeah. Basically, I have to wait until somebody else does the naval landings on the continent for me before I can start doing anything. Once I do there, I can actually help out. Right. Leave it there for now. I'm good for